<laughs> hey there YouTube, today we're going to change the fuel pump on my 1988 Toyota pickup. Uh, yeah, let's see how she goes. Okay, so what I did is I went to Napa, get a basic fuel pump, OEM, this is 100% replaceable, nothing special, and then uh, went and got a fuel pump sock, which is basically just a little strainer. This is the fuel pump, all the little parts that come with it, electrical connections, some hose, some clamps and stuff like that. Uh, nothing too hardcore. And the way this uh, sock actually goes on the fuel pump, this little cap there. Take that off, and she just slides right in. Oh. Like that. Nothing too big, nothing too hard so far. Uh, so let's go drop the fuel tank. See what's next. Okay, so we're under the car right now, and there's three bolts right there. There is a 14 right there, a 14 right there, and a 13 right there. And then on the other side, mine's a little mismatched, but it's gonna go a, uh, I think that's about 11 right there, 13 right there and a 13 right there. So once those three are out, the gas tank is going to drop. So to be safe, and so it doesn't fall on you, you should get a jack or a support of some sort to let it down. Okay, so after you get rid of those six bolts, it's good to put a jack of some sort underneath your gas tank. And then you're gonna lower it. And uh, you're going to have to get rid of your hose right here from your, <laughs> from your top up. <laughs> There's a connection right here that you got to get rid of. And there is one more. I don't know if you can see it. It's back behind there. Once you do all that, you can lower it completely. Okay, so after those two connections and a loosen on the uh, hose right there, we have some fuel lines to disconnect as well. I had dropped the tank a bit more. Once these are out, the uh, tank is good to come out and work on the fuel pump. Okay, now that the gas tank is out, I'd like to mention I missed a couple of things. There was another hose that you were supposed to disconnect. Just ignore this part. This is the actual... Uh, Part you pour into but the the clamp right there does come off and I did forget about this one fuel line hose right here other than that it's just the two connectors these three gas ones and then the tubes for the cap there and then yeah okay so there's uh, about eight screws here take it out and then you should uh, just be able to lift it straight up and out when you do it, hopefully nothing falls into the tank. Uh, seems to be pretty minty on this end. Oop. And there it is. There's the sock, there's the fuel pump. Time to swap her out. So once you get the fuel pump out, in this assembly here, what you gotta do is release this hose. There's two little hose clamps there. And you gotta take the positive and negative off here. On the negative, it was an 8 millimeter, and for the positive, I used a 932. Uh, Take them off, pops off, and that's time for the new piece to go on. Okay, so I got the new uh, pump and sock on. Uh, the kit that I got is newer than the old ones, so I did have to do a connector with a couple of crimp caps on it. It's not too big, you just need a crimper and, uh, and uh, wire strippers and then you're all good to go. Black on black for ground and then the colors together for power. She's ready to go back in. Okay, there she is. Back on, all screwed up. Uh, she's ready to go back in. So just repeat all the steps, but backwards. And just for a reminder, one, two, three. The fuel line in, fuel lines to hook up. This green one right there is the fuel pressure one, the gas one. Connectors, electrical, one, two, 
and then your two hoses for your gas tank. I guess your fuel hole or whatever. Yep. Okay, and there's the gas tank back in place. All the connections, all the bolts are back in. And uh, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay, and that's how you fix a uh, fuel pump on a 1988 Toyota pickup. If you like this video, like and subscribe, hit up our channel, and uh, see the other fun things. All the shenanigans. <laughs> I was here in case anyone was wondering. Bye! Ha <laughs> ha